Oh boy. Studs, uncut. Just so we're clear. Go to the Dagon Cliff Dwellings and destroy the kills. Another fucking scumbag mission. So this time I have to go destroy some kilns so that it will be harder for everyone to get malaria medicine. And I'm getting how much for this now? <laughs> 30 diamonds. It's kill or be killed, Jana. You choose which side of that line you want to be on. Kill or be killed. Hmm. What do you think? <laughs> kill. <laughs> That's a no-brainer. Okay, so it's the Dogon Village mission. Dogon Village is the son of a bitch in area. Up in the northwest. Go there to the red circle. Uh, destroy the kilns. Mission complete. But we're going to do it the buddy mission way. Our buddy's going to call us up. Did I get 20 minutes? No? Okay. Buddy's going to call us up momentarily. Have a better idea on how to do this mission. There he is. Akim, what up? Please, would you meet me on the Dogan River Delta? I would like to offer you a job. Okay. So, oops, crunch down there. Get your shit together, Slack. <laughs> I need another coffee. Okay, here we go. Uh, blue Square. Go to the Blue Square, hook up with Hakim, and uh, yeah, he's going to give us a better way to do this mission, and we'll get upgrades to our safe houses. And we lost all the upgrades. Um, we got to our safe houses. In Act 1, I'm just cutting through the doctor's office here and going around the back. Easiest way to get to the north side of Pala. <laughs> or uh, north side of Port Soleil. Go through this hole in the fence here. Yeah, so we lost all our upgrades in Act 1. Lost them all. All the uh, ammo piles and full med kits and whatnot that we had our, at our safe houses. So we have to earn them back again by doing all the buddy missions. So that is the deal. And the easiest way to get to these locations, I'm going to the Blue Square and I'm going to hook up with my buddy. The easiest way to get to um, this safe house is to just take the river north of Port Soleil. So that's what I'm doing. Right there. Just like that. Go for a little boat ride here. Private messages. Uh, some of you guys are sending me private messages. <laughs> and I'm going to ask you, why are you sending me private messages instead of posting comments? And the usual response is, uh, yeah, I know there's some diamonds there, I'll show you later. The usual response is uh, because I didn't think you'd read the comments. And that could not be further from the truth. I read all comments. And uh, you're far more likely to get a response if you post your question as a comment. Because a lot of you guys are asking the same questions. And it gets really tedious answering you all individually by private messaging whereas if you post it as a comment and then I can post a reply publicly then everybody gets to read the question and answer and it kind of cuts down on my workload so I really would appreciate it if you sent if you posted comments instead of sending me private messages all right really appreciate it thanks a lot so here we are right at the safe house and let's go talk to Hakim. See what's up. There what up, go. dude? I just got off the phone with my wife. Sometimes I think she gets paid to worry. Alright. So let's discuss this job. There is a shelter nearby, Ganja Hut. In an outpost down the road. The man will be there soon, visiting a woman. His guard will be down with his trousers. I would like you to kill him for me. <laughs> Shit. This keeps getting worse. Okay, so you, wanna, you want me to knock off this guy while he's banging his broad or something like that? Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. Not because of the woman. I simply want to have an obstructed access to his written orders. He is a teamster. He delivers the refined Artemisia to the APR's medicine stores, a concealed location. Okay, I don't think I need to know any more of the sort of details. The courier is already at the outpost, right up the road. All right, no problem. So it's basically an assassination mission. Uh, go up to the outpost area and whack this dude. Eliminate the APR truck driver at the outpost. All right, can do. Easiest way to get there from here is to take the boat. Go down the river, hang left, go up the other fork and up the river. We only have to go by one guard post and I think I could do that. So yeah, let's do it. Let's do it to it.
and I really beached my boat, eh? <laughs> this happens to you by accident. I did it on purpose because I just wanted to get up on, the, on shore really quickly. But if it happens to you by accident, you run your boat aground, just go around to the front of the boat, you'll see the little hand icon, press on that, and you can push your boat back into the water. Just like that. See? And away we go. That's a carryover from the original Far Cry game. They don't tell you that in the manual, eh? In the Far Cry 2 manual. It took me a while to figure that out. I was playing Far Cry 2. When I first started playing Far Cry 2, I kept running my boat aground. And I was like, fuck! What the fuck do I do? And I finally decided to try that because I remembered it from the original Far Cry game. And it worked. <laughs> okay, so up this other fork in the river we go. To the outpost area. We'll only have to deal with one guard post. It's pretty hot, but we should be able to speed run through it. Going in this direction, it's a lot harder to speed run through it in the other direction. For some reason. Anyways, I have problems. <laughs> okay, so here's the guard post. Kind of tricky. Let's go between these rocks here, do a hard left, a little bit of a hard right, and that's it, you're through. And they're getting a little upset, but no mind. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna land the boat right up ahead there. Okay, and the outpost area is right there. First thing on the agenda is to whack this sniper who just made me. <laughs> I've been made. See them popping up and down there. Let's see if we can whack him anyway. So got him. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, so for those of you who say I never do headshots, how about that one, eh? Huh? Yeah? How do you like them apples? <laughs> okay. So, um, we have the camel suit. And this kind of grass, long grass with the seeds on top of it, this is the kind of grass that the camel suit works in. As long as you're, you keep still, relatively still, the enemy won't be able to see you. I've tried it out, it works. I'm looking for this patrol here. No patrol. Alright, so let's go back to the outpost area. Normally I would try to find some kind of high ground area that overlooks this enemy position and use the sniper rifle to take him out, chop him down the size. That's my normal uh, plan of attack. But I just got the Uzi, and I want to get my Uzi trigger finger in shape. <laughs> the Uzi handles a little differently than the Mac-10. Mac-10, very short control bursts is what is effective. Uzi, you have to go a little heavier on the trigger finger. So I always find a bit of a transition problem between the Mac-10 and the Uzi. So I want to get up to speed with my Uzi. Hey, boys. How you doing? Let's party. Did you tell me that's coming from? <laughs> okay, they're ready. Let's rock and roll. Who wants to dance? Then we got someone over there. Oh, that's for the sniper rifle, okay. Alright. Sweet. Okay, let's do it. Let's rock and roll. I love rock and roll. <laughs> Put another dime in the jukebox, baby. Yeah, get them, get them, get them. Guy over here with a shotgun. <laughs> yeah, let's dance, boys. It was sweet. Ba boom. Totally missed that guy. <laughs> uh, oh, he's not dead yet. Need a little help dying? There you go. Oh, used up all my my bullets. Okay. Um, sniper rifle time. 
Did I get him? No. <laughs> Okay, I'm out of ammo. There's an ammo pile over there. He's frying. Check this out. <laughs> Check this out. <laughs> oh man. I know that is sadistic son of a bitch. Okay, so. Take out the machete because I'm out of uh, Uzi bullets. Oh, there's some bullets. Okay, great. Who else wants to dance? Oh, got a patrol. Ready to patrol. Trying to run me over. 